Hello and welcome my friend and then I am planning to give you information that how to use this car care touch up set and this is like paint what we need if we have scratch or damage in our cars this paint and this package normally includes two those bottles and one of these is base coat and second is this clear coat when we have metallic paint in our car and when we start this our repair and this service we have to first choose this right color color in our car and every car when we have this register plate number or this car manufacturing number we can go to this dealership center and ask that what is this my cars this color code and in my case this is in this my car Toyota Camry car this is gray metallic and one G3 is this type and there is really many of these but it is easiest to find this just suitable this paint is that when we go to visit in this our cars dealership center like in Toyota dealership or Ford or then Servolet those centers okay and now I have uh, visited in this dealership center and also we can order these paints from this internet shopping place there are those original manufacturers parts in internet also available we need to only notice color code okay and then when we open this package we we have to check a couple of things firstly we need if we have metallic metallic color car firstly this base coat what is in this it looks like that and there is also this silver or this gold color marked and this is clear coat this is like this final paint okay and then when we look in their inner we can see those instructions instructions and what we need to do like in this this information is suitable for all cars and this basic idea is same and then we go to look closer this information first step what we need to know is that there is two bottles base coat and clear coat base coat is easy to understand because there is this color like gold silver or black in here and this is like only this is like air there is no any color this clear coat coat and this is like like finishing paint and then when we start to read this our information first step is that I have to take this base coat in that way and now we are talking in this one and there is info that there is no need for shaking that bottle it is good to, good to know because sometimes we remember that we have to shake this paint and then also there is this temperature that there must be in this case we have Celsius that there must be to be plus temperature like 5 Celsius to 35 and that means that if we are in, in freezing or snow then we can't use this base coat because it is too cold and also if we are ir, we are in really hot temperature like in summertime in California then there is too hot remember that that there must be just suitable like normal little bit half sunny day and then 
third point is that we need this cotton cloth. Clean white cotton cloth for this cleaning purpose. And now we are in this step three and now we have to go to clean our car body with this coat. And I have an issue in there and let's go to look. This is my defect, defect scratch area. And now when we are looking we can see in there one small scratch and let's go to look closer at that scratch. And now because this is very big area the scratch is really small. It is in here in that area and now I use my pencil this sharp point that we understand that where is this damage area. Now looking in very near we can see that there is now two millimeters multiply three millimeters that area what is damaged and now I need to clean this thing firstly. Okay and now I take this my clean cotton cloth and now only purpose is to clean that area really well that there is no any dirties using this hard or, or actually this is durable and soft cotton cloth. If you have old t-shirt or some another white cloth this is really excellent. And now I mark this my position and now we have made this point three. Okay and then we go in this point four and now it means that we need to take this base coat in our hand because we need this paint in this scratch area. And now we are in this point four. We can also look that closer. Okay, and now we can see that I need to take now this my paint and we are now in this point four. This picture is a little bit difficult to see but now I need this paint pencil. Okay and now I take this my pencil, I open this my cap, I rotate and then I carefully lift that up and there we can see this paint and then I install that very little in there and let's go to look closer this thing because this is so important step. Okay and now we can see a small scratch in here and there can be to be even bigger scratch but now I open that and then this is important thing very carefully only so little this paint that this scratch goes away and little bit that there is small little bit like small heel in there good this looks really good and then I close this my paint bottle and now we have this this nice base coat in there and this looks really good. And then we need to look instructions again. Okay and then I need to look my instructions and now we are in point five and point five tells to us that now I have to wait 10 minutes. 10 minutes is this waiting time in here. 10 minutes. It means that now this my paint it must dry out. That it, it becomes becomes dry. Okay and let's wait 10 minutes. This is important. Okay and now we have now we are waited 10 minutes and we can continue that job. And then we go the next step and next step is that I have to install in that my base coat area little bit water and this is interesting because I need now little bit water and I take water in here and there is this my base coat and there is really soft mattress in this head and in this instructions tells to us that we need fresh water, like bottle water is fine. And then we look in here that we have to do that upper area little bit wet. 
this is our next step that we need wet to install into our wet and let's go to look that closer this picture we are really this point six and there is info that I need to dry in into our water, water and in that way in this area water and let's let's do that next and there is my bottle and now I will demonstrate this is my job in here I will, now I will demonstrate demonstrate this demonstrate and there is my water and I little bit add in here this water in that way and this is good to do little bit far away in this our paint position but now I like to demonstrate that how this water goes in inside in this way good now there is this water water in here and then we look that next next point and next point is point seven and now I need to press with that that soft material, this mattress, in this paint area, in here, and let's let's look at how this happens. First is my paint area, and now I install this my soft material a couple of times in here, and this purpose is to make this this base coat area a little bit more wet. Okay, and then when we have made that thing. Next step is to clean this area again in this water in that way and now I am doing that little bit far away that we, we need to clean that soft material and then we have to only control that water goes only in here not in this painting area. Okay good and then we can look next step we are now in this position step 8 now we are in this step 8 and then when we have cleaned that we have to wait again 10 minutes 10 minutes waiting that there is this my paint area and let's wait 10 minutes now I have wait, waited 10 minutes and there is this my paint area and then we go to next step what is point go to point 10 in here and now we need to take this clear, clear coat this paint and this is actually totally totally like water no any paint and there is no any need for shaking also in here no any need and then again this temperature is 5 to 5 to 35 those Celsius is this temperature in here where, where we can operate if and there is idea that if we have too hot or too cold then this clear coat it don't work and th there we can see this next step point 12 point 12 means that we need to now install this clear clear coat in this damaged area and that means that I need to take this clear coat bottle and there is really this clear coat bottle and I open that my bottle and there is small pencil and then I need to take in their inner area this clear coat a little bit and I will do that next okay and there is my clear coat and there is this material in here and we install little bit amount not too much in there and let's go to look closer when I install that in there and now we can see very nicely and there is this my clear coat and now I install little bit that in here in that way good now there's nice clear coat in there excellent okay and then we go to look next point what we need to do now we are in point 13 and we need to now wait 20 minutes that this clear coat dried 
dry out, that this clear coat becomes dry. And let's let's wait that amount 20 minutes. That is my clear coat. This area will be dry in here. And then when we have waited this 20 minutes, then this our job. We are now in position 14. This is okay. And then we can start to drive our car. But then we have second step, point 15. When we are waited, when we are waited two days, what means 48 hours, then we need to police that area in here. And let's go to look at what that police means in this point, because we need now this police this material. Polish is this final the 16, 16 point that we need to polish that our painted area and let's go to look at how to do that job. And then we have this our target area in here and then we need to purchase this super polish. It is like this this material is excellent that one Okay, and now I have add in here this polish wax and then I need to do this polish in that way and this purpose is to clean and sand this extra this uh, clear coat away in this area and this is this final point this point 16 and there is this polish purpose that I install first this police and then in another clean cotton cloth I make this area shiny. Okay, and now this job is ready and we can we can then also clean all other police wax in here away in that way and 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 then we have shiny paint in there. Thank you my friend and thumbs up and see you in next movie.